Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to another Russian adventure. Today we're gonna be doing our leg two and finally getting out of this uh, horrendous uh, default airport. Bill got it. I'm pretty sure the actual airport is pretty nice. But this one is just horrendous. And we're gonna be going to an amazing destination in Russia, a popular destination too. For rich people <laughs> especially. Sochi uh, International Airport uh, Just a quick hop uh, Should be around 450 miles So it will take us an hour and, and a little bit uh, So let's get going and uh, let's get out of this and let's uh, enjoy a better scenery <laughs> uh, We're gonna be flying our A320 Alitalia's A320 as uh, this is the main uh, weapon of choice for this uh, tour, so we're gonna keep uh, the same airplane through, throughout the, the, the whole uh, 20 legs. So yeah, uh, let's get going. Thank you so much for uh, joining. Thank you for watching. Even if you're not watching live, I do appreciate a lot. And as usual, if you have any comments, uh, uh, just uh, please drop it in a comment session, uh, section and I'll uh, be more than happy to uh, read and uh, and then go uh, and talk about it okay so uh, I haven't uh, set this one up but should be pretty uh, pretty easy are you using flight uh, Alitalia 322 I chose uh, 32 because of the Airbus 320 and we're gonna just change the last digit depending on the leg so this is leg number two and leg number three is gonna be 323 and uh, so on since it's a fictitious, uh, those are all fictitious flights anyways, uh, it doesn't really matter. There's no real call sign for all this. Uh, everything should be okay. I haven't flown the Airbus uh, since our last flight. Uh, so let's get going. Let's uh, go back inside and set up, uh, get everything set up. I'm going to move this guy here as usual. And you're going to bring the... MCDU on the screen here. As you can see, the the overlay is working again, which is great. At least the colors are, and the information uh, that wasn't working is working right now. So let's hope. Uh, Dan, actually, the developer of uh, Sin Toolkit Pro, he uh, he is a uh, he is amazing. That guy is, I've never seen anyone like like him. He's, he works 24 seven on this. He's still on alpha, this new version 0.6, but he already released, I don't know, 17 uh, <laughs> updates since uh, <laughs> this, uh, since uh, Wednesday, <laughs> Tuesday, when he uh, made uh, the alpha available for us uh, testers. So yeah, the guy is just amazing. 24-7 uh, all work anyways so uh, yeah I really appreciate Dan for his uh, all his efforts it is quite an amazing tool uh, let's get going here run a pre-flight on uh, FS2 crew get our deboarding going on yeah we can use Aeroflot Aeroflot is helping us in this journey <laughs> all over Russia okay uh, yes, D uh, data, aircraft A320, brand new nav uh, data, so we're good, as uh, 322, okay, beautiful, cost index for Alitalia is 7, so uh, just double checking uh, the information on the flight plan here, Eagle Air, Yes, that makes sense. And you are KK, that's the ICAO. And uh, IATA is uh, IR KRR. That's the alternate. Perfect. Flight level 350, that matches our flight plan, our OFP here. And uh, for temperatures at 350, minus 54, I have here minus uh, 51, so close enough. Temperature here in Belgara is 23 right now showing 24 so that's uh, close enough for me so 
So that's a three two two. Our main crew wouldn't miss the opportunity to do this uh, <laughs> special uh, tour. Oh, made a mistake. So, uh, yeah, we're good here. So yeah, one hour and twenty-three minutes. Seventy-nine hundred for the fuel. Yeah. So our block is going to be 7.9, 110 for taxi, 36.97 for trip, uh, 8.10, I would say mm, 8.20, should be more uh, doable, and 60.9, that looks good. Okay, let's get this... Uh, going to our catering we are as usual online on vaccine but i'm not expecting uh, any atc covering this uh, this area here actually to be honest it might happen especially sochi sochi is uh it's very uh well known so okay so let's check 844 okay And eight, uh, 833, 844 for the takeoff time. Uh, flight plan release one, 322, Eagle Air. Okay, that looks good. We're happy with that. Should, should just uh, leave you here because we're going to be getting the, the other next. Let's hope that uh, our uh, FO don't. He doesn't screw up uh, the APU like he did last time. He was just too excited uh, being part of the, the store. It's basically what it was. Okay, we're all good. All the lights are good, makes sense. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of light on the overhead be here. I prefer uh, this way. Oh, wrong one. Testing. Everything looks good. And we're gonna actually unlock our door too. We're gonna need pressure auto. Fire test. Yeah looks good fire test engine number two yeah that looks good now come down here gear down okay around you lift this what we don't need is this there's no need for this right now engines pressure is uh, there is good parking brake is on And I don't. Recall? Yeah, there's nothing uh, nothing wrong here. We can move the seat right away too. Fire test. Okay, he's doing his thing, and we are gonna do our thing here. So uh, there's no ATC, as usual. We're gonna do whatever uh, we would like to. Always, of course, trying to respect everything. So uh, this is the layout of the airport. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we are somewhere around here. This doesn't make any sense, but. We're just gonna, we're not even gonna uh, push back. We're just gonna start and uh, and taxi forward and uh, turn and see where we are because this. Anyways, uh, this is the departure that we have. Pretty straightforward. Kubok uh, 5 Sierra departure. So runway heading, 5 miles, turn right, 
Kubok and then proceed on course. Kubok is already our first waypoint. Pretty straightforward if we have to come back. We have an RNAV here. GNSS, this is the American, uh, or I should say, <laughs> Western version of the, <laughs> of the GPS. Uh, they have uh, plates for GLOSS-NAS too, the, the Russian system. Uh, but we are going to be using GNSS. So just our nav, runway 11, also straightforward. The weather is not bad, so we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, landing back here, if we need. Okay. Let's put all this stuff in here. We got a flight plan. Actually, even before that, let's uh, get a eight 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 to zero. So seven thirty on the twenty first. 0604 meters per second that will give us 8 knots 2418 QNH1008 that's what we want and we have remarks for our runway 11 I'm surprised we haven't got Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't got uh Ground from cockpit Go ahead Confirm chops in The preliminary in. Uh, Roger Load a uh, uh, shit Yes y Yet, but we're gonna get going. We'll be departure runway 11. Kubo 5 Sierra. Departure. No transition. And then on our arrival, we're expecting runway 06. See, this is our glossness. 06. Actually, I completely forgot to. Uh oh no. Should be there. Oh, that's very interesting. I don't know why, but we have plates for an ILS. Okay, I'm out for the walk around. Runway 06 and ILS, runway 02. But. But, 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 it's not showing here, which is very strange. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the second best thing, or uh, the second easiest thing, our nav runway 06. <laughs> because I don't want to shoot a viewer. The VOR is actually basically same as the ILS, it has also a DME arc, a, a, a small DME arc. Uh, is it even here? Yes, it is. VR2 and VR6. Yeah, sure, we should have a VR. Oh, if we shoot the VOR, we're gonna have to change the, the flight plan. Oh no, we don't. It's Kogu, uh, anyways. That's what uh, the, the, the arrival is gonna give us. Uh, Kogu. Has to be VOR Yankee. Let's see if we have your Yankee 06. Yes. Okay, let's shoot your Yankee 06. Mobi 7 Alpha. Via. 
I just have to uh, take a look here. Oh, it's not Yankee. No, 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 no. It's Viora X-Ray 06. Yeah, it's very strange the ILS is here. But... Yeah, it's Viora X-Ray. Okay. Viora X-Ray 06. Moby uh, 7 Alpha. Which is uh, actually one Moby 4 Alpha and Kogo. Wow, that makes sense now. Yeah, by Kogo. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, real quick. So the seed is pretty simple. More about the star. Yeah, beautiful. That's what we want to see. Very good. I'm very puzzled for not getting a uh, preliminary uh, fuel sheet uh, yet. We're gonna start boarding in three minutes. I'm back. No issues on the walk around. Just hope this uh, doesn't uh, go bad here. Some strange things have been happening with this Airbus. Oh, and uh, as just as I said, uh, we got. But yeah, it, we usually get it right away. And that was very strange. Anyways, we got it. That's what it matters. And then lots of time. Uh, 6940. Let's double check this information. Yes. 6940 makes sense and I take off 68730 that makes sense too close to what we had thirty one point one and twenty nine point five that's our seat uh, distribution okay and we accept that So we're ready for 7.9, we're at 7.7 .7 right now. So refueling uh, should be done uh, soon. The security and safety checks are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just found a bug here on uh, Sintuki Pro. I'm gonna have to report. I just wanna make sure that this is actually not, not working properly. So, uh, okay, fuel. We got easy one, 5.3.
divided by 0 0.8026608. That's our number. Okay, so uh, that's that. We we're waiting for uh, th uh, performance uh, numbers. I think I'm gonna report this real quick uh, right now. At time. A few seconds here. Okay, just reporter. Sorry about that. Can uh, keep going here. Let me just bring everything back on the screen here. So according to uh, according to the the, the seed, uh, once we hit uh, Kubok, we have to be above fly level 70, below fly level 200 so we're gonna max out to fly level 200 that's gonna be our initial climb Tanar nav departure so we don't have to worry about NDBs which are just like here in Canada are very still common in uh, Russia there's our boarding seat belts on and we're still waiting for our numbers. Hopefully they will be here uh, soon before the 10 minutes uh, mark.
Yeah, service has been slow here. I think it's a distance from our uh, Roma. The A cars, uh, the data link here is uh, <laughs> is uh, uh, it's not as uh, quick as uh, as usually <laughs> is. Yeah, 13 minutes to go. We have um, radar in um, Ukraine uh, online that shouldn't affect us. Unfortunately, would have been nice. It's right beside us here, to the west, but unfortunately, uh, you won't. Uh, we won't be flying over his uh, airspace. So uh, departing runway 11, we won't have to backtrack. So runway 11 is right behind us here. So it should be just a matter of uh, taxi, like taxi won't take long at all. And we we're going to be on our way uh, going uh, south, heading south. It is an amazing uh, region, uh, full of mountains, uh, if you remember. Uh, the Winter Games, uh, they had uh, they have s they had some events. Uh, the Winter Games that was in Russia last time, they had some events as such. So did I'm um, pretty sure the f the FIFA World Cup, the football uh, World Cup. I'm pretty sure they had games there too. It's like I said, it's a very popular destination, especially for uh, the. <laughs> The bear, the oil barons from Russia. So yeah, they have a nice airport, nice, uh, nice hotels, nice uh, everything there. And it, it, it is situated in my favorite area of uh, Russia, Rostov Nadano. Unfortunately, we won't be flying to Rostov Nadano. It's not included in the tour, but we'll be close going to Sochi. I think we're going to have to use those numbers because. Uh, I know as soon as I send a request, we're gonna get the actual <laughs> the actual numbers, but we have to keep going. We have to to, to get going here. Okay, so uniform, uniform, Oscar Bravo. Winds zero six zero eight. Remember, the four is uh, meters per second. Uh, 
Temperature is 24. QNH 1008. Runner you want one. Take off 68.7. 29.5. Yeah, well, too late now. It's on its way. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Hopefully, it won't take forever to get the 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 the, the, the message back. The, if it's taking too long, we're just gonna use the website. And it's not as uh, precise as uh, the system here, but it will work. It's pretty pretty close. Oh, you wanna bet the the low chip <laughs> numbers? Ah, I knew it. Okay, <laughs> so you're supposed to be six one point two. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, sixty eight point nine. Actually, it should be uh sixty nine. That's what we use it. But the CG is thirty point ninety three. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to get this. Uh, I'll, I don't know. Yeah, let's see another one. Uh, zero six uh, zero at eight. Yeah, we just got it. So yeah, let's see another one. Temperature twenty-four. QNH 1008. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Remove Runway external one. power. Roger. Removing external power. 69. 30.9. Okay, so this is the first performance. We're just going to ignore the devil. Just wait for the second one. External power removed. Roger. Yeah, I hope uh, GSX finishes uh, boarding uh, soon. I don't know why it's taking so long. Why? It's because uh, it's on the bus and everything. There's no gates here. There's nothing in this airport. But. Let's just hope we get the performance numbers uh, real quick. If it takes too long, we just use uh, the initial ones. Knowing that we didn't have a gate, I should have started GSX. Uh, should have requested boarding before uh, FS2 crew. Because FS2 crew is timed, GSX is whatever, right? Wherever they want to do. There you go. Performance numbers. I just want to make sure that these numbers make sense. Okay. Oh yeah, 30.9 was uh, the the Number CG for the takeoff, so that's the one that we want. Down 0 0.5. 142, 2500 clean 218 flex 51 okay get these numbers in and, and get going here 142 144 145 Flex five one one down zero point five. Okay. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Thanks, we'll be a short taxi. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you.
Check the box. Okay. Ground for cockpit. Go ahead. Oxygen test. Roger. Are you ready for the takeoff briefing? Ready. Any questions? I'm good. For such a class. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On auto. ADS. Nav. Fuel quantity. 7840 kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrow ref. QNH 1008 set. QNH 1008 set. Electronic load sheet. Saint. Down to the line. Request start clearance. Ground. Good morning. It's Alitalia. Three, two, two. Requesting a start clearance. Okay. Cleared to start. Alitalia. Three, two, two. Cabin crew arms, lights, and cross check. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete. I just hope that we can... Uh, that we can get... Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen what I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to clear them. I was hoping to have an option of GSX asking, do you really want to push back or just start? But he didn't, because I just want to clean uh, all that stuff there. But it's okay, it's clean. We have the area ready. Let's uh, get going. Start engine two. Start engine two.
start engine one. As usual, we want to see the ignition uh, opening, waiting for N2 to reach 50% and uh, shut it down. And then uh, always monitoring N1, EGT, and everything else. Make sure that everything is rising. Fuel pressure, oil, everything. After start checklist, anti ice off ECAM status checked pitch trim. Zero point five set, zero point five percent set, rudder trim zero. After start checklist complete. Request taxi clearance. Ground, Alitalia. Three, two, two. Ready to taxi. <laughs> Cleared to taxi. Alitalia. Three, two, two. Bill got a taxi uh, uh, traffic. Good morning, Alitalia 322-8320 at the apron here, uh, stand number 14. Uh, we're going to be taxi to holding point runway 11 via Inner Charlie Alpha. Any traffic, please advise Alitalia 322, Bill got it. Clear left side. Clear right side. Brake check. Pressure zero. Flight controls check. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. For takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flat setting. Config 1 plus F. Config 1 plus F. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1142, VR144, V2145, flex temp 51. V1142, VR. 1, 4, 4, V2, 1, 4, 5, flex temp, 5, 1, degrees, ATC, set, ECAM memo, take off Noblo, down to one. the line.
Approach path clear of traffic. We've got a traffic Alitalia 322 A320 lining up from A11. We're going to be flying the Kuba Cabin crew, be seated departure. for takeoff. Initial climb, fly level 200, en route to Sochi. Any traffic, please advise Alitalia 322, got it. Below the line. Takeoff runway. 1-1 confirmed. 1-1 one, one confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. TA. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? A firm. Take off. Thrust set. Check. Main flex five one. SRS. Nav. Auto thrust. One hundred knots. Check. V one, rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. We have got a uh, traffic Alitalia 322, A320, airborne runway 11, Kubok 5 Sierra departure, leaving 2900 to fly level 200. Alitalia 322, we have got zero. Speed checked. Flaps zero. After takeoff, climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Thank you. Standard set. Set standard. Standard. Cross checked. Passing flight level 055. Now. Check. Below the line. Barrow ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Thank you. Oh, that was uneventful. So we're on our way. Two better things. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so happy that we're not at that. 
default airport anymore. That thing is just horrendous. I cannot believe I <laughs> flew into a default airport. Oh man. That's a nice uh nice view here. I shouldn't be getting too excited thinking nothing can 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 go wrong anymore. Should uh stay focused. Yeah, that's really nice. Stay focused for a little bit more, at least until uh fly fly level one zero zero, at least until ten thousand feet. Oh and he forgot about the T cas Okay, 10,000. Oh. Confirm seat belts off. Confirm. Confirm clear rad nav. Confirm. Confirm copy active to secondary. Confirm. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended max flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we can appreciate a little bit close uh get a little bit closer to uh, to our dash and uh appreciate the view a little bit more. Yeah, this is uh really nice.
So as of now, our estimated time of arrival will be 9.59 Zulu, so just short of uh, 10 a.m. Which uh, right now is giving us uh, an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 14 minutes. I'm not sure if the... Yeah, I'm glad that the overlay is actually uh, working uh, properly. That's really good. I don't think I'm missing any information. We have the flight uh, speed indicated, if I'm not mistaken. I had it indicating, uh, indicated airspeed. Have altitude or uh, call sign, network, estimated time en route, and uh, the place of, uh, of the flight. So I guess it looks good. The only thing that is not working is the, the bar. I just realized that. And the speed is kind of uh, on and off here. Yeah, the speed is just not, not showing now. Since our pass are... I think it's showing when we accelerate, but when we are on... Uh, let see, it's going again. So, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna write this down too. So I already reported the other one. This one I'll do it. I'll keep an eye a little bit uh, for a little bit longer and uh, I'll report once the flight is uh, over. Not a big deal. The main, uh, the main uh, features of the Sintuki Pro is uh, working and really well right now with the new version so yeah those are just small details but yeah I think it's only showing when we're accelerating as soon as we level off, level off and uh, stops uh, accelerating it just shows as zero we'll, we'll keep an eye on it anything you can do to help uh, to help Dan Anyways, climbing to our flight level 350. The way we have uh, some step climbs, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're supposed to go to a flight level 360 after Olging. Which doesn't doesn't make much sense, you know. Uh, let's just stay on this for the whole flight. It's good. We're on a uh, easterly uh, heading or magnetic track, and uh, yeah, we'll stay at three five zero.
Yeah, let's just maintain 350 all the way. And uh, we'll, we'll sh we should be good. So 66 miles uh, to uh, prediction to our fl cruise fly level 350. Should take us uh, 8 minutes according to the FMS. And one hour and nine minutes for flight. Don't think we're gonna have any any issues. We can uh, check the weather uh, pretty soon too. At uh, Sochi, make sure that it's still. Uh, Still giving us that runway zero six, or favorable to runway zero six. Hopefully the weather is good there too. Like I said, it's a nice area, nice uh, region. Will be nice if we can have a good view. It is pretty close to Turkey. already in a region of the Russia that is uh, almost uh, actually it's even closer to Georgia but it's pretty close to Turkey it's right at the border of Georgia it's a region full of mountains and uh, rough uh, terrain really interesting really nice Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it would be nice to get this uh, leg done and uh, move on to the next one. As uh, as, a w as it was uh, the last leg, uh, leg number three, we're going to be leaving Sochi. And uh, we're going to be going to uh, our new destination, which is... Uh, it has a freeware <laughs> version uh, of their airport. I already have installed and everything ready to go. So, uh, yeah, we'll be going uh, from a nice airport to another nice one. No more default airports until we reach leg number 14. So hopefully, uh, scenery designers, please <laughs> make Habakan uh, Airport available for prepare. I would even pay for it. That will be our last uh, default uh, airport. So, yeah, we have a good, uh, good amount of flights until we see our next uh, default airport, and uh, that will be the last one too. So. Hopefully we'll get this uh, tour completed soon and we'll find uh, another one. They're always uh, organizing tours and uh, events. They have a nice one that I really wanted to participate. 
dangerous airports that they do every year. Those are amazing airports. Hard, uh, tough approaches, but usually amazing airports. Mountains and um, and um, close to beaches, and uh, it's just amazing. Madeira in Portugal is one of them. There's a bunch of Greek uh, airports too. It is uh, really nice. They already they they announced too that they are bringing two uh, new uh, old tours. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be getting into one of them that I always wanted to participate the timetable tour or real operations oh yeah should have done they have uh, recently had a new UK tour and since we fly in UK uh, all the time and I have a bunch of airports there it's the region I'll say that I have the most uh, I'm out of airport. Well, Italy uh, will be the the one, but UK yes, I have it pretty well covered. Ah, uh, we I sh we should have participated on, on that one, but it's over already. I think I didn't do it because it was a mini tour, and it was uh, you had to had it completed in a really sh short amount of time, and I I don't like that kind of stuff. Don't like to commit to that kind of stuff because you never know. We were flying a lot at the time, but I'm glad that I didn't uh, do it because I stopped uh, streaming and and uh, I wouldn't have been able to uh, complete it if I if you would have uh, joined it. This uh, Russian tour tour we have until uh, the end of the year, so it's a six month uh, six six months uh, tour. But we're gonna be completing this in no time. It won't take us uh, six months. It won't even take us uh, one month. Hopefully, if everything goes well, should take us a uh, couple of weeks, and uh, we'll be done. One thousand to go. Check. Cruising flight level 350, check. Check. Okay, so we reach our cruise uh, flight level. Take a look of our program uh, page. Uh, GPS uh, accuracy is high, so uh, we're good. Fuel prediction 4.3 on uh, arrival, which is good too. 
with four, if, with uh, four point three, you could have almost. Uh, oh, no, actually, you could have go all the way back to uh, Belgara. Not that we want to, but we could. So. Oh, and we can see the Black Sea already from here, up ahead of us. The famous uh, Black Sea. Just ahead of us. Anyways, what we can do is uh, talk about our approach. We still have 240 miles for top of the same, but we can talk about our approach. We're gonna be flying the Mobit 4 Alpha arrival. We're becoming, uh, we'll be coming from uh, Mobit, so we're gonna be between uh, flight level 200 and flight level 110 once we hit Mobit. It's just uh, pretty simple arrival straight to Kogo and we wanna be there at fly level between fly level one zero zero and fly level six zero. Uh for our initial approach for the oh I still have the ILS okay I need to there we go we should fix it for the initial approach on a VOR X ray for runway zero six still I don't understand why we didn't have an ILS but it doesn't matter. We're gonna be here at Kogo at fly level 60, 19.4 uh, uh, miles, and this is DME 15.9 from Sochi uh, VOR. We're gonna s fly the 13.7 uh, DME arc for our final approach. Pretty straightforward. The final approach section is also too very straightforward. 2010 is our altitude for the final approach fix to intercept the FAV. Uh, our uh, MDA is uh, 570. We have our uh, 2.83 glide slope here with some uh, ground speeds and uh, vertical speed. Missed approach, uh, it's a climb. <coughs> Excuse me. Climb, turn uh, right to intercept for radio 192. Then proceed, which uh, will be this radio from uh, Sochi uh, VOR. And then proceed to pit top, holding a flight level 60. And there's a remark, a note here heavy turbulence with uh, drown downdrafts to be expected on final. So this is good to know. Believe me, if there's uh, turbulence, uh, a real turb will give us uh, turbulence, lots of turbulence. So we should consider this a uh, warning because it might happen. And, uh, and that's it. Pretty straightforward. Once we land, we're going to be using a runway 06. Once we land, we're going to turn left uh, onto the terminal. And we're gonna choose a parking. We might uh, get this VIP section here. <laughs> yeah, we should. We won't have the gate, but we're we're VIP, so yeah, we should be getting between 33 and 36. Yeah, 36 probably heavy. I don't know, but we're gonna be in between 33, 35, unless I wrote down before. Oh yeah, I said uh, I had it down uh, 34. Yeah, I knew it, the VIP section. Yeah, we're gonna take uh, stain 34. Done, done deal. We deserve it. 
so that's that uh, one thing that you want to keep an eye on it is that uh, this is our flight plan is just our MSAs our mochas now we're gonna be flying over uh, the Black Sea so we shouldn't be uh, <laughs> hitting any obstacles uh, other than if you're going too, too low and hit a, <laughs> a tanker or something uh, but then it will be uh, would have been extremely low but yeah that is just something to, to, to be aware of especially since we won't be flying uh, uh, airways anymore we have a 1030 here for this uh, section but we definitely want to be a uh, lower than uh, that 1030 we want to be a 60 and then go down it's funny uh, they have a 2010 here for this last uh, waypoint before we turn on final on the DME arc so from 6 to 2000 feet 220 is uh, it's not a big 210 uh, 2010 it's not a it's not a big deal we may even uh, usually when I have something like this and we, we, we can do 2010 I do I always go up because that's uh, the proper way to do it you never want you don't want to round it uh, down but this time I think you're just gonna do 2000 I wouldn't do it in real life but here yeah so that's our approach oh there's uh, something going on there there's some uh, system uh, going on oh it's oh my god it's that guy there the anvil is that uh, C uh <laughs> TCU there yeah <laughs> yeah that's really nasty and this one's too wow and it's straight into our path here I think we're gonna go around uh, right there we definitely don't wanna fly through this so let's do just uh, just deviate a few degrees actually 150 should be enough Stack the weather plus turbines. There you go. We could go a little bit more, but I don't know. Just didn't want to deviate too much. Let's put another five degrees, and that's it. I don't want to deviate too much. We have it in um, visual here too, anyways. Yeah, summer is here. High temperatures, humidity.
huge bodies of water. <laughs> oh, that helps. <laughs> surprised yeah we definitely definitely don't want to fly into that that stuff there those look really bad. You don't need a weather radar to see that it does look bad. That will delay us a uh, few minutes, but it's worth it. Pretty bad. Lots of turbulence there, too. Oh man, thing is huge. Still, I'm glad that we were in the close to one of the the, the 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 edges of it, so it's not that we were right in the middle, so we had to deviate a lot. But still. I thought we were going to be able to come back at uh, Riedla here. But no, I'm gonna have to go to the next waypoint, which will be Soto. We're gonna hit a direct too, once we are uh, past this uh, this uh, systems here our new uh, estimated time of arrival now is uh, 10, uh, 10 o'clock 10, 10 Zulu but like I said even with a little bit of a delay it's well worth it to uh, go around this uh, stuff instead of uh, trying to pierce up through it and end up uh, crashing.
Oh yeah, what's what's uh, what is the overlay saying? Yeah, see, we're on cruise now, but it's showing 263, so it, it is showing the speed. An estimated time on route is uh, makes sense. It's close. Yeah, everything seems uh, to be working, other than the bar. Yeah. Oh no, you're gonna have to go one uh, one more. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I I thought about like trying to navigate inside here, but <laughs> yeah. Let's take the long way. We are not in a hurry. It's a short flight, anyways. Just not worth it. We have plenty of fuel. So, not too concerned. And it's not that we are going not too far off. Anyways. Like I said, it didn't have real turb. Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't still. I wouldn't want it to fly in systems like that. That's a little bit too much. But especially the real turb. Yeah, not gonna happen. It's gonna bring us down. What we can do uh, now is uh, pull uh, some uh, weather information from uh, Sochi. Let's see what's going on there. So runway 06 will be for us, there's um, gusting winds here, there. Okay. I'm gonna write this one down. URSS 21, 9 Zulu, 100 at 1. Meter per meter per second. CB is there. Scattered uh, three six thirty six hundred CBs. Twenty three eighteen. QNH one zero zero eight. And then uh, remarks for runway zero six. I'm gonna write this down. Two 
0.202 gusting 5 meters per second oh and that's that so you have a Q&H we have an altimeter setting for a uh, Sochi which is uh, exactly the same as uh, from our departure uh, airport you could hear the, the plane shaking a little bit so yeah and we are giving lots of room we are not we are not going too crazy here I would almost just go str uh, direct Mobit from here, which it is the our entry point and our arrival. So from here, just go direct Mobit instead of going back. There's absolutely no point on going back. Let's just give uh, a little bit more room, and once we are uh, past a little bit more, we're just gonna go straight uh, Mobit. Yeah, roughly, just like roughly, should be heading 165, so from here, yeah, look at the turbulence, and we are far, huh? so um, just roughly, right, it's not precise or nothing, but more bit, if we go from where we are right now, we can see if we draw a line should be close to 165 163 164 let's call it 165 just to be closer to the system so um, when we zoom uh, in a little bit we're gonna consider 165 so we want to make sure that from where we are right now if we draw a line on 165 we are clear of the other systems right so let's just uh, fly for another minute or so and go and hopefully we're gonna have um, we're gonna get a new top of descent yeah let's wait until uh, 24 and then we will go direct to Thirty more seconds. That was a, like we were estimating, right? This is not. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have ATC to uh, help us out. Not that we need. It's a day flight. It's it's, it's a day flight, anyways. Uh, we can see the the hazards, and we have a weather radar that helps a lot too. Especially this models way more technically advanced than uh, you will see on a smaller older plane okay 24 let's go direct to Mobit there we go and we have a new top of the saint So 1008, temperature at Sochi 23, winds, we're gonna call uh, 120 at 3, 
and the MGA is 570. Let's just double check it. Yeah, everything looks good. We got ourselves a new uh, top of the saint. Which is uh, 36 miles from uh, from our present uh, present position. Let's uh, check our descent uh, preparation. Landing performance uh, confirmed. We just uh, did. Everything looks good. Check the landing elevation. It should be out of 100. Uh, makes sense. Auto brake. We're gonna set to low. Are you ready for the approach brief? Ready. Any questions? No questions. Okay. something to 80. We're going to be able to see our uh, next waypoint right away. So uh, we're going to be descending to, uh, let's uh, check here again, fly level 110. And then fly level six zero. So one one zero by Mobit and six zero by Kobo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna not gonna do manage. We're gonna check here our distance to Mobit is uh, well the time to Mobit is twelve minutes. So uh, we wanna be at one one zero. So we have twenty four to lose. In 12 minutes, 2,000 feet per minute. Pretty easy uh, math. So let's set right away. And let's go down. Hopefully the overlay is showing uh, the saint. Yes, beautiful. Just a matter of fixing the bar. And that's it. It's too bad that Scene 2 keep Pro uh, logo is not there on the overlay anymore. I'm, I'm going to ask Dan how to, uh, to add one. Because I really want to have his logo there.
So 10 minutes now showing we're doing a 2000 uh, per minute. We're going to be uh, losing 20,000. That's going to bring us to uh, 12,000 feet, which is good enough. We don't have to be at 11, it's not mandatory. It is, uh, if you remember correctly, it's, it is between 200 and 110. So really not a big deal, as you can see. At Mobi, so we don't, it's not that it's mandatory or they are expecting us to be at flat level 110. So anything between 200 and 110 is good. Unless, of course, ATC is giving us any instructions to be at precise altitude before we hit the waypoint, which happens a lot too. Sochi uh, traffic, Alitalia 322, A320, about 556 miles from Mobit. We're going to be flying uh, Mobit 4 Alpha arrival for the VOR X ray runway 06. Right now, leaving flight level 298 to flight level 110. Any traffic, please advise Alitalia 322, Sochi. Your call, our call. Everything is still uh, showing good. Accuracy on the GPS is good. It's uh, the, the the VOR is already there on Red Nav one two dash one seven ADL. That's Sochi uh, VOR. Everything looks good. Just double checking. Yeah, everything looks good. So we have a constraint there already. So by Kogo, we have another one between uh, flight level 100 and flight level 60. That one, yes, we want to be as low as possible because uh, that's going to bring us to the DME arc and our final. Uh, our final section of the, the approach. There's the Black Sea again. And there's a grandiousness. <laughs> there's our system in its grandiousness uh, to our right. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got lucky that we were uh, quite an adventurous uh, position there. So it wasn't too bad. We just uh, veered and uh, proceed uh, direct to Mobi, which was nice. It is expected on a huge bodies of water like this. I think I just saw lightning there. I don't know if it was my screen flashing or if it was uh, an actual lightning there. Right uh, here, somewhere around here. Anyways, that shouldn't concern us. There's something else here too. But we got reported CBs and in the in the area in the vicinity of the airport there, so that's uh, to be expected. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a lightning. We just had another one uh, right to our one o'clock there. Anyways, uh, it's looking much better now. We're getting close to Mobit for our flight for our flight level one zero, and we are maintaining a decent speed, two five zero, or close to a little bit higher than that.
so transition will be 5000 20,000 Cabin crew prepare for arrival concentrated on our approach here so you have a nice uh, laning for once Let's clear ourselves to six. But not change the vertical speed. So we know we're going to still be respecting uh, our first uh, constraint there.
some rain. Sochi uh, traffic Alitalia 322 uh, just over Mobit uh, Mobit 4 Mobit 4 Alpha arrival for uh, VOR runway 06 any traffic please advise Alitalia 322 Sochi from uh, Kogo we're gonna be going down to uh, we can actually reduce this right now see if we can bring the speeds down a little bit the speed down sorry There you go. Looks much better. There you have the Russian uh, coast. Okay, so after uh, Kogo, like I was saying, uh, we're gonna be going down to 2,000 uh, feet. And, uh, but we have a lo long way to go, roughly uh, 30 miles, so yeah, lots of time, lots of time to go down, especially if you only lose uh, 4,000 feet. turbulence here So what we're gonna do since uh, turbulence is expected, we're gonna leave uh, the engine uh, on uh, ignition. But we'll do that once we get closer. Okay. 
there's our 6,000. We're gonna wait until we are past Kogo to go down. And uh, like I said, we're gonna go down slow. Have lots of time to reach uh, 2,000. So we can set 2,000 now. I don't want to do managed because uh, being so close to uh, to uh, the final uh, the, the the final approach, I don't want uh, I don't want the VNAV to screw me up here. But I don't know, 800 sounds about right. Even less, yeah, 800 is even too much. 600. 700. Okay, we're setting. We're set all this uh, in uh, on the 700, not six or eight, seven. Hopefully we have a, we're gonna have a good visual of the runway and the airport. Since this is gonna be a non-precision approach, it's always nice to actually have a visual. QNH one zero QNH one zero zero eight set. QNH one zero zero eight set passing four thousand five hundred. Now, checked. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Checked. Seat belts. On. Barrow ref. QNH1008 set. QNH1008 set. Minimum. 570 feet set. 570 feet set. Engine mode selector. Ignition. Approach checklist complete. Thank you. I think it should be good once we are clear of those uh, clouds here. We should be good for a visual.
Sochi uh, traffic Alitalia 322 8320 on the DME arc for a VOR X ray runway 06 at uh, 2500. Alitalia 322 Sochi. Flaps on. Flaps on. Speed checked. 2000. Flaps one. Passing final approach fix. Two zero one zero feet. Check. Flaps two. Speed checked. Flaps two. Gear down. Gear down. Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps three. Just a small detail that I forgot to talk about it real quick here is that the final approach track offset two degrees from running second line. So don't think that uh, the scenery uh, guy made a mistake, that's how it's supposed to be. Flaps full. Flaps full. Speed checked. Flaps full. Cabin crew be seated for landing. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Speed. 
Auto brake. Medium. Ecam memo. Lane or blue. Landing checklist complete. Thank you. So we have set uh, track FBA and set the 2.8. Uh, we were a little bit late, so uh, we won't be able to catch up with the uh, VDAV, the deviation on the VNAV. But that's okay, we have runway in sight. We're good to go. We had set our MDA here. That's why you were seeing all this, uh, oh, all this different uh, symbols that we usually don't see on a precision approach. One thousand. One thousand. Check. One hundred above. Checked. Minimum. Minimum. Lane. Checked. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Spoilers. Check. Reverse green. D cell. Check. Seventy knots. Check. So to traffic Alitalia 322, runway 06, vacated at Golf. Alitalia 322, Sochi. I'm not too sure if that 3 4 is uh, the 3 4 that we want, to be honest. I can see Bravo there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because we want to park right here in the VIP section. Okay, <laughs> it will be easy. Let's see. We'll see right away if the 3 4 is. Uh, yeah, to me it doesn't look like it. Oh, it is! Okay. So that's, uh, that's the 3 4 that we want. After laning checklist. Flaps. Retracted. Spoilers. Disarmed. APU. Start. Radar. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. After landing checklist complete. Sochi uh, traffic Alitalia 322 A320 at uh, Golf. We're going to be taxing uh, to uh, stand number 3. Four, VIP stand uh, via golf and uh, apron. Alitalia 322, Sochi. I had to say that it was the VIP. <laughs> Well, that was a, an amazing approach. I'm sure you guys enjoyed way more than I did, looking at the, the background there with all the mountains and the snow and the ice. And uh, just amazing, just beautiful. It's too bad that I couldn't uh, pay too much attention to that. Okay, so 3 4 should be just right here by Foxtrot. Unfortunately, we don't have the numbers painted on. Uh, Oh, that's interesting. Why is she facing the other side? I wasn't expecting that. I should have tested this <laughs> before. Maybe it is the other side and I never realized. Like I said, I should have tested this before. This is here that we want. Oh man. Yeah, let's go. Oh man, we're gonna hit everything there. Okay, let's go around that way. Or else we're gonna hit that post, the light stain. We're gonna hit the bus. We're gonna hit everything. We're gonna be a, a disaster. Oh, that was a nice laning, for once. I'm, uh, I've been flying a <laughs> different uh, aircraft, and uh, I have to go past the D tent uh, on my uh, u on my quadrant here to go to idle. So I made a mistake with the Airbus here, just not used to anymore. Instead of stopping on the D tent, I went. That's why I screwed up the final touch, the final flare there. But he ended up could have been a little bit better. It was just too bad, really. I should have checked this. We should have been parking the other way, not facing this way. But that's okay. I should have fixed that. I will fix that uh, for the next. Uh. I, to be honest, don't think we should be parking on A320 in this uh, VIP thing. I think this is more for. Jet, a uh, private, uh, yeah, I don't even think we're gonna fit in the Oh well, we're gonna hit those stairs. Yeah, that was a poor choice of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think this is more for executive uh, executive jets and, uh, and whatnot, not for the Zerbas here. If we are too close, I don't know. If we're too close, we're just gonna. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this has disaster written all over. It's okay. Let's kill her. No, just kidding. Let's stop here. It's all good. <laughs> Parking brake is on. <laughs> I hope no one lanes <laughs> right now. Oh man, that was awesome. Okay, let's 
shut this thing uh I'm not even sure if uh, Jessex gonna recognize this. Kevin Crew, all those in park. Oh, he did it for me. Parking checklist. APU bleed. On. Engines. Off. Seat belts. Off. Exterior lights. Navalog one. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking brake and chocks. Off any. Parking checklist complete. Thank you. Oh, that was fun. I should have looked at the parking situation first. I didn't want to park on the gate. I, I want to do something different. <laughs> oh man, there's always something. Anyways, dude, that was awesome. I loved it. I loved the approach. I love that it actually should. Uh, we had to shoot the VOR, and not the. Uh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that. If I mentioned that before, this is a freeware scenery. The whole he did the whole city, the whole area. This is just amazing this especially the russian uh, developers they are just amazing the freeware is better than most payware well i shouldn't say most but a lot of payware that you see on c market this is just amazing so yeah he did the whole uh, city everything all that scenery that you saw came from the, the actual airport it's just beautiful let me just get the confirmation on the, the landing uh, times here. And I also gonna check the Alitalia Zakers uh, system there. Oh my god, this parking was. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they got my uh, they got my my report. So we are good with the company. Waiting for the doors to uh, to be open, and we can go to exit. I'm even I'm afraid to show the. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, we're seeing that. Let's check the official A cars uh, page. Ladies and gentlemen. That was a nice uh, 200, uh, 220 uh, feet per minute. Yeah, if it wasn't my detained mistake, kind of a. Uh, made me wiggle a little bit because I kind of uh, got it was that was unexpected the reaction of the plane but that's uh, that's okay let me just uh, complete the flight here so yeah we won't be using the 34 I'm gonna write it down here we won't be using 34 uh, when we depart now uh, when we depart uh, we're gonna be using one of the gates Let me just uh, finish this. This is done. That's done. Let's go to our. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look too bad. We're way past on the the mark, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I didn't want to use the. I should have used the gates. We're gonna use the gates uh, when we uh, departure. When we depart, uh, Sochi here. But see uh, the, 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 the town and uh, the city and everything. Look at the, on the background there. That's all from the add on here. That's all from. The, it's just ridiculous. Just amazing. Just amazing. Look at that. Look at the amount of detail. Like, just gorgeous. And all the ski uh, hills and, 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 and everything is just beautiful. 
Yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. Not to mention the airport itself doesn't look bad at all. Like it looks great too. And that's the 2014 Winter Olympics. It looks great too. So, uh, yeah, wow, it's like amazing job, amazing job by the by the developer. It's, it's an art. Yeah, truly an art. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I uh, appreciate it. I'm gonna disconnect from that scene here, so we don't uh, waste their their precious uh, band. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I I loved it. Like completely different from <laughs> our last uh, landing and our last airport. This is just gorgeous. I just love it. The church, like the details, are just amazing here. It's uh, love it. I would gladly pay for this. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, watching another uh, episode, episode number two, on our uh, Russia Extreme uh, Russia Tour 2020. Hopefully, we'll be doing the next leg uh, pretty soon. Uh, we're gonna be leaving out of. Uh, leaving uh, here Sochi for uh, another destination that has a freeware airport scenery so uh, we will we'll be happy uh, on both ways on our departure and our arrival and I'll be happy too <laughs> not just you so yeah thank you so much for watching even if you're not watching uh, the stream live thank you so much for your support I appreciate it I hope you're uh, you have a good, uh, great rest of the day and uh, rest of the week or weekend, depending on when you're watching. Thank you so much again. Uh, please, if you have comments, uh, complaints, anything, just want to talk about aviation or whatever, drop a comment in the comment section there and I'll be more than happy to read and a reply. Thank you so much once again. I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.